Hey everyone who's watching uh, live, we're actually just doing a, a little test run for a paper we're writing here. We're not actually going to do a real conference, but I'm kind of blown away at how many people are joining so quickly. <laughs> uh, while we're uh, talking, this is uh, an example of prototheicosis. It is an algae, actually, one of the only algae that infect uh, humans, although there was a paper from Australia that I read just a while ago that shows there's actually another algae, I can't remember the name of it though, that can affect humans rarely. Um, this is a, this is a, this picture's on Wikipedia, I uploaded it, um, so if you're interested in seeing it, this is the nicest case of prototheca I've ever seen. Um, it was a needle biopsy, and unfortunately the patient was, um, was immunosuppressed from uh, having a lymphoma, and they had, um, they had accidentally, um, uh, got their got their leg cut by a piece of firewood and uh, it inoculated them with the prototheca so this is a kind of like a, an algae that's free living in the soil and the water everywhere usually the way that people get it is through um, traumatic inoculation kind of like how you get dematiaceous fungi things like that so um, so anyway the we came in as this fluctuant mass and it was um, that they, they came in with history of lymphoma and did a needle biopsy and I'll I'll admit this here live on Periscope to my eternal shame I was uh, a soft tissue uh, a soft tissue service in training and I looked at the slide uh, from low power and I, it looked like a sheet of of little pink cells and I thought oh you know what this is this looks like maybe dead lymphoma cells I didn't look any closer I said let's send this over to heme path see if they can do something with it and I didn't even go to high power and when they came back and said um, we did some stains and think this is organism I felt so embarrassed so it was a great lesson that uh, don't just uh, read the history and think that you know what's going on um, in my defense here I'll go back and I'll show you what the H&E looked like it's kind of it's kind of astonishing here I mean that's it was a sheet of this stuff from from low power you can imagine how that might look kind of like a bunch of dead cells if you didn't see the cool little so soccer ball so prototheca microscopically is supposed to look like this the the classic description is these little round circles uh, the little endospores that are grouped together and um, they people say they look like a soccer ball or if you're not in the US a football um, and uh, I think that they look more like flowers or um, daisies or something like that. And then you also get these cystic structures that look like little bubbles. So I say flowers and bubbles, and that's because I have um, these little uh, girls here that are my daughters, and I've got a third little girl in the other room somewhere watching TV. We're getting ready for school as we speak. So um, since I'm a daddy of three girls, I think I see flowers and uh, bubbles instead of uh, soccer balls or footballs. But anyway, this is Prototheca. It's super rare. This is actually the only case I've ever seen in real life. It's um, it's not a common thing, but this one was a, a real, a really a robust example. Usually, you just use. Oh, sorry, someone said I should use landscape mode. Uh, does that work? I hope so. Um, I'm still I'm still learning Periscope uh, as we go here. So anyway, I um, I sent I sent a recut of this to Dr. Uh, McKee, Philip McKee, and he actually emailed me back and said that is a beautiful case. So if it can impress someone like Dr. McKee, you know it's a really good example. So if you ever see these little guys like this, that's Prototheca. Usually you will not see sheets. You'll see like uh, um, you'll see uh, granulomas in the dermis with some scattered, maybe rare organisms like that. So um, so always think of it if you see you know granulomatous and um, mixed uh, dermal inflammation like you'd imagine for a deep fungal or something like that. Ooh, I see someone say it looks like a bag of marbles. That's kind of a cool idea too. I like that. That's what I love when we talk about visual analogies in pathology. You know, there are lots of analogies like people say chicken wire vessels for myxoid liposarc. Well, I don't really like that analogy. I don't think it looks anything like like chicken wire, but you got to use, I think it looks more like little tiny branching uh, vessels or maybe like chicken feet or something like that. So I think that you can use whatever visual analogy works best for you, right? That's that's the whole point is we have to use the visual term that clues us in and makes us think of, uh, of the diagnosis. So um, anyway, uh, we did a little impromptu session on Prototheca and this was way easier than I thought. I assumed that I have to advertise and did not know that like 30 people would join uh, to look at some algae uh, early in the morning. So anyway, you guys have a great day and I um, hope you enjoyed. Thanks a bunch. Oh, I've got a share on Twitter. Yes, okay.
Yeah, Marin, is, uh, do you have what you need, uh, Marin? Is it shared on Twitter? Did it automatically go through? I didn't tell it to. I can see what you text, what you're typing in as a reply, so. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's the pathologia. Don't worry. It's uh, this is actually impromptu. We were just I was actually just doing this so that I could get a screenshot for a paper that I'm writing, and uh, like 30 people joined. We just talked about prototheicosis. Um, yeah, it's ending. It's ending. Sorry, I was just doing this uh, just <laughs> just as a little test run thing. I didn't realize that so many people would join so quickly. But anyway, it, this is prototheicosis. It's a pretty nice case. This is on Wikipedia if you want to see it. If you just uh, uh, go to Wikipedia and look up uh, prototheicosis, you can find these pics. It was an amazing case I had, and um, I wanted to upload pictures to share with the world. So see the little, uh, little soccer balls or footballs, whichever you, you like, depending on whether you're from the U.S. or abroad. Or like I was saying earlier, I think they look like little uh, daisies. Did you find the share on Twitter? Sorry, no, Marin. I didn't figure out how to do it um, to to share on Twitter. I don't know why. I thought it automatically did. Hmm. You can tweet the link. Okay, cool. I'll do that. All right. Well, guys, have a great day. Thanks very much for uh, joining.